If you have a DTX 900 or DTX 700, then you are used to three zone pads. And you are used to having, for instance, on the snare drum, a head, a rim shot, and a cross stick all available at the same time. Now, these three zone pads are not compatible with all the inputs on the DTX Pro and the DTX Pro X. Um, they're only compatible with snare drum input and input 14. You can't really just swap the pads over because it doesn't work. So this is why USB trigger link is very, very useful. So here I have, I've actually got, well, I've, I was going to say I've got a DTX 900. I don't have a DTX 900. I've got a DTX Stream 3 with the DTX 900 firmware in it. So it's masquerading as a DTX 900. It's basically the same, just with a different paint job. So I've got my DTX 900 here. I've got a three zone pad plugged into it and it works great but I want to use the sounds from my DTX Pro X module, which I've got here. And how do I do that? Well, I could just link up uh, the MIDI output from here to the MIDI input of the DTX Pro X. But the DTX Pro doesn't have MIDI in, so you can't do that with that one. So that, again, is another good reason why USB trigger link is very, very useful. I am going to connect the DTX Stream 3, the DTX 900, to the DTX Pro X just using a USB cable. To turn on the USB trigger link, what we need to do is we need to go to Menu, we need to go to Utility, we need to go to Pad, and we need to go to Note Map, which is right at the bottom of the list. And at the moment it says off, so I'm going to press the plus button and I'm going to turn this to on. And at the moment it's looking for another Pro or another Pro X. But if I just press the plus button again, it'll then change so it's looking for a DTX 900 or DTX Stream 3 in this case. And we can also get it to look for a DTX 700 as well. You can also change the MIDI notes inside the USB trigger link so that if you've changed the MIDI notes on your DTX 900 or DTX 700, you can actually just make the Pro or the Pro X fully compatible. So it's very, very useful, very, very simple. And it does mean that you can use three zone pads with the new modules. And now that's done, the DTX 900 or DTX 700 or DTX Stream 3 is playing the DTX Pro X or DTX Pro sounds over USB. So if I hit my three zone pad now, I get all the functionality of the three zone pads, but using the DTX Pro X sounds. You aren't guaranteed to get full functionality. There's a few things which don't work 100%. There's a few things in the hi-hat which are a little bit different. But generally, if you have a DTX 700 or a DTX 900, then you can just connect straight into a DTX Pro or DTX Pro X and start playing and it'll work fine. Um, but just beware that it's not exactly like for like. If that's all it did, that would be a little bit annoying, a little bit frustrating maybe. So you can actually use USB trigger link in lots of other ways. You don't just have to use DTX 700s or DTX 900s. Obviously this is designed for Yamaha use, the Yamaha modules, but if you have another drum kit and you want to use the DTX Pro sounds or the DTX Pro X sounds, you actually can. Um, so let me just show you how we can do that. You can try other modules and it works. It doesn't work completely and it's down to you to give it a try and see what works and what doesn't work. But um, I've tried this with quite a few modules I've got here and it works absolutely fine. So what I've got here is an Alesis DM10 module, uh, an original one, it's quite old now, but it's got USB outputs. And if I connect the USB output of the DM10 to my DTX Pro, DTX Pro X module, just using a USB cable, which is here, um, it works. I've got the USB trigger link turned on. I've got a pad 
plugged into the DM10. This DM10 does not accept three zone drum pads. So this is only working as a two zone pad. But if I play the head, I get the head sound. If I play the rim, I get the rim sound. Now you will have to change the MIDI notes to make it compatible, but that's a small thing to do. And once you've got it set up and saved, then you can just leave it and it works. But if you have basically any other kit um, with USB output, this will work in principle. I can't guarantee it will work with uh, everything. But if you're clever and you select the right MIDI notes, you will get most of the functionality of the kit. One thing I found is it will also work with modules which generally have to be connected to um, computers, directly to computers. The ATV85 won't connect to anything apart from a computer. It was just designed to trigger VSTIs. But if you connect an AD5 to the Pro or the Pro X, it works great. You use all the trigger settings inside the AD5, but you use the sounds from the Pro and the Pro X. Very, very cool. But it's not just conventional drum modules that you can use. If you've got something like this, this is the e um, This is the e 4. It's a little trigger four inputs and on the other end it's got uh it's got midi and it's got usb and it's great light little box attaches to a hi-hat stand or whatever else you want and you can use this for basically anything so if you have a pad which works with the e drumming controller interface i should say um just by attaching uh midi or usb in this case and attaching pads into the inputs. I've already set up some trigger settings on this on my computer anyway. And then when I hit the pad, I am triggering the DTX Pro X through this. So any pad which can be connected to this can control the DTX Pro X. But what makes this really good is that because the DTX Pro and the Pro X have USB trigger link, this will power the e drum in and it will also take the signal. So you just have one cable going from this to the module and it just works and it works very, very well. Now you might be wondering why the USB trigger link is so special. That's because it actually breaks a protocol. Um, with MIDI, the, the protocol is you connect the MIDI out from one device to the MIDI in of the other device, and it sends MIDI data from one to the other. And it's got to be connected like that. And MIDI is one way. You have one cable to go one way, and if you need to have MIDI going both ways, you need to have two cables. That's why USB is very useful because it just needs one cable. But generally, up until now, it always has to go to a computer. There's no other way around it. Uh, it always had to go from the module to the computer. And then if you wanted to connect to another module, you'd have to go from the computer to the module. There was no way around it, apart from a, a few sort of dedicated uh, high-end connection boxes. But now with USB trigger link, I can just connect one module to the other very, very simply, very, very easily. Single, cheap, disposable USB cable, and you're sorted. 